uh, manners. The Senate County Public Accounts and Investment Committee has expressed concern about attempts to embezzle 542.5 million in pending bills from Taita Taveta County. The fictitious claims were accumulated over a period of five years between 2013 and 2017. Governor Granton Samboja told Senate that a task force that was formed in February 2018 to investigate pending bills advised against payment since the claims lacked supporting documents. The evidence that I shall give before this committee. Governor Samboja led the county executive of Taita Taveta County to answer to audit queries for the year ended June 30th, 2018. The county has pending bills totaling to 542 million shillings, both in development and recurrent expenditure, claims that accumulated over the last five years. The Auditor General has questioned the validity, accuracy and authenticity of the pending bills. Whoever put these 520 million in the books of Taita Taveta County, yeah. what has happened to them? Uh, at this moment in time, what we have done is we have not paid. What has not been paid is the 520, which we were advised by the task force report and the audit pending committee that this one should not be paid completely as there are no documents. Members of the county assembly of Taita Taveta were accused of arm twisting the executive to increase its budgetary allocations in breach of the public finance management regulations for county governments. The county assembly was given 534 million, 7% ought to have been 310 million. So you are talking of 224 million overpaid to the county assembly for two consecutive years. There is something rotten in that deal that the body that is supposed to carry out oversight is a body that is condoning uh, a, a violation of the law. The Auditor General says he could not confirm the accuracy of financial statements presented for audit since they were not in agreement with the Integrated Financial Management Information System IFMIS balances. In the IFMIS uh, system, we have several uh, modules. This one for <coughs> cash management is the one which enables uh, counties to do both things and even uh, reconciliations of those figures in the system. There's been a, a challenge in the IFMI system in that module. Accounts receivable module was implemented, you could post receipts. You didn't post receipts. Why do you blame the system? It must be a problem with the people. And if it's a problem with the people, let's discuss what Senate can do. And let's discuss what the governor ought to do. Short of firing those guys, you can retrain them. In fact, the Tibet county was one of those counties which were having challenges. In fact, when we were starting the devolution process in terms of connectivity. You've been financed CC for? Four and a half. Years? Yes. You are the problem. You are the problem. Governor, uh, at the end of the day, you take the fire. But the problem is sitting right next to you. Despite the challenges with IFMIS, revenue collection has improved. As at 30 April 2019, the county on source revenue stood at 251 million shillings against a target of 300 million, which translates to 83% of the target. We still have two or one more months before the end of this physical year, and I believe we shall either hit or surpass the target. Muranga County Governor Mwangi Wairia and the County Executive.